So this is not going to be a very long video, but it's something I noticed when it comes to the VMAs, but not just the VMAs, but pretty much all over. And I have noticed that we are seeing a lot of portal imagery. When it comes to the imagery of portals, it is a very close second when it comes to the conversation of UFOs and aliens. The conversation of UFOs and aliens really exploded between 2023 and 2024. Not from the public, but from news, media, and the powers that be, the government. Does anybody remember that golden age, that golden time, when UFOs, aliens, were considered nothing more than swamp gas, weather balloon, flying turtles? Yes, that was a real news report. A person saw a spherical light in the sky. News said that is the old optical illusion trick by flying turtles. Now, I don't know what that meant. I was, I think I was in eighth grade collecting Pokemon cards. The point is they would do everything and anything to sweep the conversation of UFOs and aliens under the rug to completely mask that conversation. Yet, for whatever reason, between 2023 and 2024, they really want us to take the conversation of UFOs and aliens very seriously. I think it's incredibly important to listen to the specific words that Grush uses. You know, Grush never said extra terrestrial or alien. He said interdimensional. But one member used the term that what they were exploring here were, her phrase, interdimensional beings. Is that something that we're dealing with here potentially? I mean, I think it's easy to be disappointed when you don't get all the information that you want, which I understand. I, I would have loved to receive much more information, but I think, I think that... Um, it's, it's reasonable to say that uh, everyone that was in the room uh, received probably new information. I, I certainly did and I think it's an interesting um, you know, additional information to continue the investigation um, and ask more questions. So definitely have more questions than, than less questions. Is that, is that Even when the public does not want to talk about UFOs, they will still beat into our heads the conversation of UFOs. But now it looks like portals are the latest craze for the media. But don't worry, aliens and UFOs are still there. Matter of fact, the VMAs decided to combine both. So the VMAs happened on September 11th. And to be honest with you, if somebody did not tell me about them, I would not even have known they were going on. But they were. So there was a lot of strange imagery taking place at the VMAs. We had Taylor Swift wearing a UFO corset. We had this woman, Sabrina Carpenter, who they are propping up as the next big star on stage, dancing and making out with a female alien. And then we had Katy Perry singing her E.T. song. So are they trying to tell us something? So going back to Katy Perry, Katy Perry's on stage singing her song E.T. Now, if you have ever seen the music video for E.T., you know it has to do with a fallen alien, a fallen alien. You get what I'm saying? coming out of space and landing onto Earth. There is no portal imagery in the music video, yet for whatever reason on stage, she is using a portal to sing this song. While she's coming through the portal, there are a bunch of people dressed in gray surrounding the portal. Does that remind you of anything? Think about it for a second. We have a bunch of people dressed up as gray entities surrounding a portal, while another entity comes through the portal as they are singing. Does this not remind you of the closing ceremony of the Olympics? Go back to the Olympics. We have a bunch of great entities surrounding a portal while this golden voyager makes its way through the portal. At the same time, we have this fellow here in the portal singing the hymn to Apollo. The golden voyager during the closing ceremony is basically the same concept of Katy Perry's music video, E.T., where it's seen coming out of the sky, falling from the sky, and touching down to Earth. These pieces right here are the different continents of the Earth, but pushed together because they want to share that message once again of unity, oneness. This is not a coincidence. They are giving you a message. The only difference is Katy Perry is taking both the role of the Golden Voyager and the singer inside the portal. Even the way Katy Perry and her backup dancers are dancing is very reminiscent to how the Golden Voyager and those great entities, those people dressed up as those great entities, were dancing. This is something that I have spoken about on my channel for quite some time now. 
This is where these entities are flooding over from. They are flooding over from portals, from other dimensions. Now, we cannot talk about portals and not talk about CERN. And I noticed, ever since CERN has been very, very active, we have been seeing an overabundance of portal imagery. Reading this article directly from CERN on June 12, 2024, this article talks about how this summer will be CERN's most productive, most active summer in history. Now, during the solar eclipse, CERN let the Large Hadron Collider run uninterrupted between March and April. But during the summer, CERN let the Large Hadron Collider run uninterrupted between June 5th and August 19th. So this is the Large Hadron Collider's longest run for being active. Remember those news articles that were coming out that these fourth dimensional entities, these ghosts, these spirits, were crossing over at CERN, and CERN was labeling them as particles to make it sound more like science. Now we have the United States building an underground Large Hadron Collider, spending billions of dollars to build this Large Hadron Collider, the biggest Large Hadron Collider, the biggest particle accelerator in the world that stretches from South Dakota to Illinois to smash these particles together, what they are labeling neutrinos or these ghost particles. They are spending billions of dollars to just smash these particles that are found in everything. This tells me they are doing something else. They are nicknaming this Dune project here in the United States the telephone. Of course they are. Reading this article from the New York Times, it says, In the coming years, some of the world's top particle physicists plan to transform this realm into the listening end of an 800-mile, $5 billion tin can telephone. With it, they hope to hear a whispered answer to an existential question. How did we get here? This is what they are spending $5 billion for. This is the official answer to what they are doing underground. Do you really believe this? Do you really believe they are spending $5 billion and all this work underground to answer the question of how they got here? These same people that believe this are the same people that will give that pastor money. What's that pastor's name that says if you give him money, you'll go to heaven? I just did a video about him. I can't remember his name off the top of my head. But yeah, these same people will give that pastor money. We even have the Denver airport making portal jokes, saying they are building tunnels, but it's definitely not a portal. Continuing to read this article from the New York Times, it says, the message will be carried by incoming neutrinos. Remember, these are the ghosts, the spirits, strange elusive particles that weigh almost nothing and move almost as fast as light. At the telephone's other end, a half mile wide particle accelerator operated by the Fermi National Accelerator Laboratory, Fermilab, just outside Chicago, will create trillions of neutrinos every second in a narrow beam pointed squarely at this cavern. They will sail underground, not through a tunnel, but through three states worth of solid bedrock. I cannot wait to hear the stories of people seeing very bizarre things. I cannot wait for all the bizarre and strange news stories after this is activated because I am sure this is going to produce a lot of content, content far more interesting than the people on the planes. These people are opening things up. They are playing with things they should not be playing with. And they are using these corn cobs here to push the message, to push the agenda, to tell us what they are doing in plain sight. But in any case, thank you so much for watching. If you like this channel and you want to see more, please subscribe. If you're already subscribed, please like, as any engagement does help the channel grow. Once again, thank you so much for your support.